All right, everybody, in today's video, we are going to be using a double pull, double throw switch to actuate the buzzer. So we're kind of expanding on the previous video. So this was just to make the buzzer make noise with the main power switch. Now we're going to be adding in an additional switch. So we have the main power switch, but then we also are going to have another switch. Uh, so the buzzer will not make noise until the main power switch is on and the switch is closed also. So as you can see, we want it to, uh, if this switch is open, if this switch is off, we'll have an open and the buzzer will not make noise even though the unit is turned on. But once we close it, contact is made and the circuit will be activated. So let's go ahead and look at the simulation first. All right, here is our simulation. This is looking a little different. Let me explain what's going on here. So we got our main power switch right here. turned off right now and this right here is our double pull double throw switch um so it looks a little different but i want to familiarize you guys with what it looks like in a schematic um here's what happens when i switch it so because we're only using one of the single pull double throws of the two that make up a double pull double throw, I have this entire one just sent to ground. The simulation software won't let me just leave them unconnected. Really, what we're doing looks like this switch. But with this setup, this is how you achieve a single pull, single throw of uh, utilizing a double pull, double throw. So I have half of it just going straight to ground because we're not using it. And then if you see here, so this is our pull and these are the two throws. This fir uh, first throw when this is connected to it, then it will allow current to flow through the buzzer and circuit will be completed. This is connected back to the beginning of the switch. Why did I do that? Why did I not ground this throw? It's a good question if you asked it. I did not ground this throw because if I grounded it, electricity takes the, like humans, uh, naturally, uh, it takes the path of least resistance. So if we're looking at our schematic here, if it can go down here, through here, and just go to ground, or whatever way you want to look at it, through ground, up, here, bam, 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 and skip these two resistors, it will do that. If it's like, hey, I don't have, I don't have to go through all this, then yeah, I'm just going to take the shortcut, easy way. Why wouldn't you? So that's why I have it going back. So let's go ahead and run our circuit. Right now, we are getting nothing as expected because our unit power is not on and this uh, buzzer switch is off. So let's go ahead and turn on our unit. 
switch closed, still no noise. And now let's close our double pull, double throw switch. And now we're getting the noise from the buzzer as expected. Take a second to look at this. If um, it's not making sense to you, hopefully I explained it well enough. Uh, in the future, we will be expanding on this. All right, let's go ahead and build this circuit, expand on our previous one. So first thing I'm going to do is just remove the buzzer. Powers off, of course. Um, because I'm using such small switches, I'm going to be using some little jumper wires. Let's zoom in here. So we want, I guess I can. Throw down a switch here. I'm going to follow in this. So our three volts is going into our pole. So this will be our one and a half three volts. or the, the middle pin. And what we want is when the switch is on, that's going to be going to our, so when switch is closed, it will be connecting to the positive wire of the buzzer. All right, this little cheap and then we just have our negative going to be. Okay. Let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, again, this is a, an annoying sound, so I won't leave it on for too long. Make sure everything's still in there. Okay, so first, power the unit. Okay, nothing is happening as expected. Now, once I flip this switch, the wire is just loose. Doesn't stay in there too well. It's really cheap wire. I might cut this back and solder on a thicker wire or something. Uh, anyways, so it works. Awesome. So now uh, both of these switches essentially have to be on to get the buzzer noise. So obviously if the circuit's off, but this one's on, nothing happens. Cool.